don't know if it works. First thing is first, do your makeup backwards. Keep that in mind in this entire video. Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen Dominique and this is my first video of the new year and I have a 2023 new routine and technique for you. No matter what stage I'm in in this makeup routine I'm about to show you, it gets me out the door, you're gonna look so good. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of my Dom fam. If you're already a subscribe bestie, then you know the drill. Love you guys and let's get into this video. I feel like a grandma on this sweater, but it's kind of cold and I have this really cute top on that you guys cannot see, but it's super cute. It's freezing though. Why is it raining every single day in California? Why? For the past month, it's the world is ending. I've been doing my makeup backwards lately and I absolutely love it. You have to try it. The first thing that I do is my brows because the product will adhere to the skin better. You might have to touch up a little bit at the end, but for me, it's okay because I have no brow and it's way better than starting completely fresh with all these products underneath. It just doesn't stick very well. It doesn't last throughout the day for me. This has been really working and my my brows have been lasting all day long. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick. They take forever, honestly, they take about an hour and a half, it feels like. <laughs> no, it's probably like 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quick and as quick as I can while talking to you guys. I kind of sketch them in first. I sketch them in really fast, looks really sloppy, but I work it out at the end using the Kosas Brow Pop in the shade Dark Brown. Well, that was quick. It's brow surgery every single time I do my brows and they're different like every single time. But after this, I move on to curling my lashes. In my past old routines, I would always do this part last. If I at least have my brows and my lashes on, I look like human, part of society. Okay, I'm being a little extra, but I feel like more put together. I would start foundation first. I would have no eyebrows, no lashes, and I'd go out the door and I'd be like, who am I? After I curl my lashes, I just spritz on a little bit of this ultra hydrating fine mist. It's a very light hydration before I do anything else to pre-prep the hydration on my skin and wake it up a little bit. I wanna show you that I curl my lashes so hardcore that I literally curl my eyeball. It looks really crazy, but they stay curled. So after I do that, then I put on mascara. So the mascara that I've been using lately is from Rare Beauty. To me, they just have one of the best mascaras. And I just put on a little bit of mascara. I don't put on too much. And this is usually because I wear lashes almost every other day if I am doing a full look. And then I'll put on this primer. This is a hydrating primer. This is my Blurn Moisture Primer. But I already did my skincare. I did moisturizer, I did SPF. That was early this morning. So if you're wondering like, where's the SPF, where's that? That's already sunk into my skin. This is really just to grip the makeup to the skin and make it last all day with some hydration. So I have a really dry skin. That's why I really like to overhydrate my skin because it's so dry. So the dewier, the better for me. I'll go in with my contouring. And for contouring, I'm using a mixture. For right now, I'm using the Nude Sticks nude neutral light contour shade. It's a little contour stick. It's like a soft matte stick. And I'll take that with a little bit of this guy right here in the shade Mocha. Once I'm done with my lashes, then I'll go into under sculpting. And I like doing this because it looks a little bit more natural. And I just mix those together because I feel like this gives me a nice contour shade. And I'll just go around my face and contour like I normally do. I've been seeing on Inst or TikTok that this was started from Mary Phillips. So I don't know who started it, but I, I don't even know where I got it from, but I saw this a while back. So I don't know if it started from her and then it kind of, you know, trends just keep going. So it might've, she might've started it, but I don't know who I saw. I saw this like maybe two or three years ago and I've just kind of been doing it but I'll just do contouring underneath the chin. I have to take off my nose contour, guys. Lately, I've been using the Rem Beauty Multi Eye Stick for my nose contour just because it's super precise. This is the shade Lunar Eclipse, and I'll link it below, but it's amazing for like that precision. So yeah, I'll just do this, and then I'll take it through the eye like that. So you can use any cream highlight. I'm using this one from Dominique. It's currently sold out on my website, but you can get it at Nordstrom. And I'll just like brighten and under highlight 
and it's gonna look crazy right now because I would never suggest you guys to blend this together like this. Again, I just wanna show you just so you can really get the visual of how this all works together. And also, you don't have to highlight everywhere I'm highlighting. I have dry skin, so I like that little glistening glow on the chin and the upper lip and the nose, but this is basically where I cream highlight for my placement. Okay guys, I had to take off my sweater because it is getting hot under all these lights. Also, I'm filming back in a, like a studio setting and I put it together in my home and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. It's kind of a mess, but I will get it together. It looks like this. So these are the lights. This is gonna pain me so much, but I really wanna show you how the placement works for everything. So I'm gonna do the blush too, and then I'm gonna blend it out. And I guess you'll see behind the scenes of how creators blend out this crazy mess just for the aesthetic of it. So this is a liquid blush from She Glam, and it, this is the Laura Lee collab. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that on my cheeks. This is such a pretty color there. So we're overlapping a little bit, but that's where I would put the blush, the highlight, and the contour. Now the fun part, blending this all out. This is gonna be a little crazy. It's not my favorite, but we start with a darker shade first. So I'm gonna go into this contour shade and just press it into the cheek. And that's what you wanna do is press into the cheek and try to avoid like sweeping because then you can actually sweep the product off and into the brush. So just pat it into your skin and eventually it will look natural. So I always start with the dark shades if I am doing this like fun visual for TikTok or Reels and obviously for you guys right now, just to see how the placement really goes on the skin and the difference that it makes, bam. So I do a little bit here too. I don't always draw it right there just because sometimes it can look a little harsh, especially because it's in the front of your face and it's just, it's right on the bone. Now I'm gonna go into the underneath the chin. My double chin has been growing, you guys. It is growing. I need to hold back on the sweets, honestly. I also saw, saw that there's this little workout routine you can do for your double chin. So basically what you do is this. I don't know if it works, but I'm definitely trying it. I tried it last night. I did it like 30 times. I don't know how many times you're supposed to do it. Maybe like 100, I don't know. But it's supposed to like tighten this muscle. So if you have a double chin issue like me right now, try it out. Let's get back to each other in like a month and see how it worked out for us. I'm gonna blend this contour up here out with a different brush. This is from Vanity Makeup. I've been using these brushes from Vanity Makeup for about two years, I think. And they're just so good. They're amazing. They fit right into the sockets where you need them. They're so precise or right on the nose. And again, I'm just tapping that into place. And of course, if it's too much product, then you can sweep a little bit, but you mainly want to tap so it doesn't move the shape that you're trying to create. I love to contour. Not everybody does though, and that's okay. You can just bronze. If you use products that have a little bit more coverage, like a blush that has coverage, your bronzer that has coverage, or contour, you really just don't need to use that much foundation. And I feel like that has helped me out a lot with just looking natural, like that naturally flawless type of not overdone makeup look. I've been getting a lot of compliments like, wow, you have beautiful skin. I have makeup on. So it truly looks very natural, which is amazing. Now I'm gonna go in to the highlight that cream highlight and just sweep that in right in right above right there so we can add some light under sculpt under blush and under highlight and it does wonders go in with your foundation i've been using this foundation for the past couple weeks and i've just been drawn back into it for some reason it's the l'oreal infallible pro glow and I'm in the shade 203 Nude Beige, but I'm just gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. Pick up a foundation brush. This one is from It Cosmetics. Now for the foundation, I only apply it in the larger spots of my face. I apply it on my cheeks and I apply it over the forehead very lightly and anywhere really, I don't go underneath my eyes because I'll save that for concealer, but anywhere that needs a little bit more evening out, 
and coverage. So that's basically all the foundation I will use. And then I'll go in with a beauty sponge to soften everything out. This is so much less makeup than what I used to wear, but it looks so much better. Less is truly more, you guys. Even though I'm doing steps, it's a lot less product that I'm wasting. It's a lot less time that I'm spending. And I just really like it. And the skin looks really healthy, but I do love my glam nights and I will do full coverage and it's gonna be a full on way more makeup than this. I do love the way my skin naturally looks when I have this type of makeup on. And the concealer is last. And it's so backwards for me personally, because first of all, let me find my concealer. I have been doing my makeup the opposite way for so many years. I usually do foundation and concealer, but I'm doing concealer last and it's just so different, but it just works because now that you have your base down, your contour, the structure, now I know like exactly where I need to conceal. I'm using the Dominique concealer in oat milk. I blend it in with a brush at first just so we can get a nice precise feel of where it's going and then I'll soften the edges with a beauty sponge. This also helps like, if you have a little bit more of a stronger contour going on your nose, it helps to diffuse that a little bit. Alagania. You guys, this is off subject, but I am learning Italian, French, and trying to get better at my Spanish. If you guys didn't know, I am Hispanic. I'm Latina. My mom is Mexican. My dad is Guyanese from Guyana. He's Portuguese Guyanese. And I just want to know better Spanish because I wasn't raised, like my mom didn't speak Spanish to me, but my family, my entire family speaks Spanish. It's weird because my grandpa is from Mexico and all his family is from Mexico. They only speak Spanish. And that's how my mom was raised. My grandmother, rest in peace, she was from Houston, Texas, and she spoke English, but she learned Spanish through my grandpa because she was married off to my grandpa so his family can come down to the US. So that's kind of how I, my family was created, my mom. Anyway, I still know about 50%, 60%. I can read it, write it, understand a lot more than what I can speak, but I want to fix that. So I want to get better and I'm taking Duolingo Spanish, Italian, and French. Right now I'm doing Spanish and uh, Italian because it's similar and it's pretty easy to learn on there. But if you're trying to learn a new language, you guys, Duolingo is the best. Like it's an app, it's so easy, it makes it fun. I feel like I'm doing like a sponsorship right now, but I actually, I just love it so much and I've been learning so much better Spanish and I'm learning Italian, like ragazza is girl, cane is dog. But I know like all the basics of Spanish, so I feel like that part is I'm trying to get through all the basics because I know the basics, I'm trying to get through the harder stuff. But yeah, it's been amazing and I really, really love it. I definitely would suggest you set the center of your face, so I am gonna do that. I have, again, dry skin, so I don't like setting all over my face. I mainly just set the T-zone. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this translucent powder. Guys, my translucent powder has been sold out for like two months. Like I cannot keep it in stock, it's so good. And I am working on getting it back in stock very soon with some new goodies to go along with it to be, you I can't tell you too much, but it's, you're gonna love it. But this is such a good powder because it does seriously smooth and blur everything that it touches. And it's a hydrating matte, so it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. When it comes back in stock, I'll let you guys know because you definitely need to try it if you haven't tried it yet. It is like a hidden gem. It's so good. I just put a little bit on my lids just because I wanna get prepped for eyeshadow. It is the new year and I feel like I don't wanna put on like a lot of heavy makeup right now, but I do wanna put on makeup. Like we're not not putting on eyeshadow today, but it's just gonna be a little bit, watch it be a full glam. Let me not say anything, but I'm hoping that it's a little bit lighter, but this is the face. It is fully done. I absolutely love this routine. You guys should try it. At the end, I'll go ahead and, oh my God, there's like two more things that I do and I'm just pretending like I'm done. So I curl my lashes again, like so, and then I go in with my ultra hydrating, ultra hydrating fine mist. Bam, we're ready to go. If I do do a little bit more eyeshadow, which I kind of want to do, I'm going to be using the Laura Lee Whimsical Nudes and the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Light. Very pretty colors, very neutral. And this palette is just so pretty. I have to use it. So we're going to get into the eyes. The eyes make me so excited. So I want to lay down this neutral, soft color 
and I'm gonna take a big freaking brush. This looks like a highlight brush, but I'm gonna use it anyways. And I'm gonna go into Cloud Blossom. I'm gonna mix Cloud Blossom and this shade together to get like a medium tone. It's called Sand Shell. I'm gonna take that all over the entire eyelid because I like that it's gonna give me this like yellow brightening effect. Kind of took away my contour, but we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna put it back in there. For the definition, I wanna go into something softer. This palette has a really pretty rustic brownish orange color, but I wanna do something more on this type of cool tone, taupey kind of shade. I'm gonna mix this shade, which looks a lot darker than what it does on camera. Bit of this guy, and then the shape that I did earlier, that's kind of what I like to do for my crease shape. It lifts and it just gives me a really nice shape on my eye. And I'm gonna do that. If you're new to my channel, I like to give tips while I'm doing my makeup. If you're not new, and sometimes we need a, like a good reminder, but when you're blending, you wanna make sure that you're lightly sweeping over the skin and not pressing down on the skin, which can be a little hard. And you also wanna make sure your hand's in the back of the brush so that you get the softest finish out of your eyeshadow. Otherwise it can get muddy and just really hard to blend out. I've been there, I've done that and I've learned over the years. But I'm also gonna take, see how it's super high up? That's gonna give me a lift and a contour to my eye that I didn't have before. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush that's a little bit thinner. This is a Sigma E25 blending brush. Take that on the lower lash line. But I don't wanna go on the inner corner, I just wanna stay on the outer third of the lower lash line and bring it out. Manny, oh! <laughs> You guys, Manny and Laura have the best podcast. If you haven't seen Spool Coverage YouTube channel or have subscribed to them on Spotify, you definitely should. It's very entertaining. I feel like it's the best podcast out there. So, and then I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm going to blend this on my inner corner. A little Makeup by Mario and Laura Lee collab right now. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. And it's very light and soft. I'm also gonna take it on my brow bone. Ooh, oh my God, this is so stunning. Also in 2020, I want to think of a new word other than stunning. Comment below what the new word should be to replace stunning. Now I want to do a little bit of a lifted wing. She has these gorgeous greens in here and I feel like that's very different and I feel like I want to do something a little different. So let's go ahead and try that out. I'm going to take this E27 from Rosenben in this beautiful green color and I'm going to put it on my upper lash line like out here. Something different. I feel like I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more definition after this, but it's just so pretty. This is Sweet Willow. Oh my goodness. This color is so pretty. I feel like the lights don't show it as well. Oh my God, 11, 11, angel numbers. I'm gonna show you guys on my phone because it's truly beautiful. Okay, so this is on my phone. Look how gorgeous this green is. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna put this bronze liner on the lower lash line from Persona. Then I'm gonna add a brown eyeliner to my waterline. And this is from House Labs in the shade Burn. You know what's gonna make a big difference in this look to look a little bit more defined without taking over the whole look is getting the liner in this inner area right here. It just adds way more definition without like putting on an eyeliner. So I'll just put that on, on the outer part of the face and right, hug it right underneath that blush that we put on. And also just like around the rest of the face. And then I guess I'll go in to my nose. I'll just take the little, this shade right here and just go over parts of my nose that I want to stand a little bit further out, like this little button area that I actually don't have. So I'm just gonna create it and make sure that it's doesn't go away. And then just tap it with my fingers. Now my lashes should be dry enough. They apply so much easier whenever they're kind of already dried down. And I take the LC Natural Pal Lipstick Pencil. And actually, I feel like this is gonna be a little too light, but we'll do it anyway. Take the Peri Peri Rose Nude and go right on the lip line. Actually, I feel like I need more of a brown in my lip. I'm using like five liners right now. This one's a multi-liner called Draw Me from Tower 28. But yeah, I need that contrast because the eyes are so light. Okay, that is the exact contrast that I needed. So that's my little combo. But on top of that, I wanted to use, I need to talk about this lip oil. It is so freaking good. It's from Lunar Beauty. It's a lip oil, but the texture, the formulation is just so good. It's like a hybrid for me between a lip oil, it smells amazing, and a gloss. 
and at the same time the color lasts like a really long time so like a stain almost but look how gorgeous this is it feels amazing on the lips it's not too slippery it has like a grip to it so your lips are hydrated all day this is the shade love me and this is the final full look thank you guys for watching and being part of the Dom fam. I am so happy to have you if you're new here, but if you're a subscribe bestie, then you know that I've been off of YouTube for about two to three weeks. <laughs> so I'm back for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed my first video back. I love you guys so much. And before I let you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I always like to leave you on this note, a little something to remind yourself and remember throughout the week, and that's to be gentle on yourself this year. 2023 is new. Things are gonna happen for you that have never happened for you before in the best way possible. I love you guys. My nose is running. I think it's time for me to go. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.